Hello and welcome to this advanced tutorial for Cartoon Animator 4. Um, and this tutorial is about customizing your own sprite-based expressions. So the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to do facial mapping and custom character sprite adjustment. Um, this is done through mapping uh, the sprites of your character or also doing uh, freeform deformation. So let me just start here. I have my, my rooster character and I have my Motion 2D Live panel open. I'm gonna quickly connect this to my Face 3D uh, profile, which allows me to use a webcam. And I'm going to double select, I'm gonna select my rooster here, and at the bottom in character list, uh, make sure that my Face 3D profile is um, controlling the face of my character. <laughs> okay, so let me click on preview. And there we go, I have my character. Always remember to zero set zero pose at the beginning. Let me do that. Okay. So, for example, um, let me stop this for a little while. In the previous tutorial, uh, we were covering how to use the strength sliders. And these will basically, are they're, they're basic controls for a few facial features that you can control. The problem is I cannot have the freedom to really adjust every little thing that I want. So in this example, uh, let's say I want to make my eyes big, but I want my pupils to not grow with my eyes. I want my pupils to become small. So if I use this right now, let's see, okay, zero pose. If I, if I do this, I've act surprised. <gasps> okay, you'll see that my pupils will grow with my eyes. And that's understandable because uh, the value of the eyes is controlling everything um, inside uh, my facial feature for the eye. But let's say I want the pupil to be small. How do I do this? So it's pretty, pretty, very easy. Um, up here in mapping, we have uh, expression mapping panel. And I can click on this and this gives me complete control over a lot of different uh, facial parts. So if I go to control name here, I can choose that specific eye, uh, facial feature that I want to control. In this example, it'll be eye open right, my right eye, okay? And you'll see uh, my right eye being controlled there. So we have a lot of uh, values for different parts of that eye. Some of them are at zero value, some are at 100. So let me hide all the zero value sliders. And the only one that I want to work with is the eye enlarge right. Now it's at 100, and that's okay. I want to leave that there. But I do want the pupil to become smaller. So I'm going to go into head and eye tab. And right now the pupil is at 80. So I can bring this down to let's say a value of 15, negative 15, okay? And this is for my right eye. So let's remember that value of negative 15. And then I go to control name and I click on eye open left and I will give it that negative 15 value also. Okay, just like that. So they have the same value, I believe. Hold up. So face, yes, and large at 100, I at 100. Great. So now if I play this back, I'm going to go to preview. Okay, and I'm going to act surprised. Let me zero value first. Then, <gasps> okay, if I act surprised, you'll see that my pupils are not enlarging with my eyes. All right, so that's a, a basic example of how I could use the, the advanced uh, mapping expression mapping panel to customize specific facial gestures uh, for my characters. Now, the next part I want to show you is how to adjust a mouth deform for a character or any part deform for that matter. So, for example, if I click on preview for my character, set zero pose. Okay. If I move my mouth around, look at the mouth of my rooster. It's like all soft, okay? The beak. The beak of my rooster is, is all soft, and it shouldn't be like that. So what I can do is that I can adjust 
uh, the mouth deform for this character. And it's very easily done. All I have to do is I need to go into the composer mode. So I'm going to go into my uh, stage window here, composer mode, the left side toolbar. Okay. And this will open my panels. Hold up. This will open my panels here. So what I need to do is I'm going, I'm going to go to facial animation setup. All right. And this will open uh, my facial animation setup. I can choose the mouth. That's the face part that I want to control at this point. And you'll see that inside we have all the expressions for when my mouth is left or my mouth is smirked right. Um, and you can see how the beak of my character is being deformed. So the first thing I need to do, I need to clear all of these. So basically I select one, clear, second one, clear. And I do this for all of them. So let me fast forward. All right, so now that I cleared all of those deforms for the expression, what I want to do, I want to be creative. Um, you know that the, the roosters have their, their waddles, right? Um, so I want to create, like, every time I smirk to the left or right, I want the, those waddles to move accordingly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to an expression here, lip smirk right. I'm going to click on that, okay? So when I smirk to the right, and I am going to select... Uh, my waddle. Hold up. I think that is it. Yes. And I am going to move this to the right and select these. And I'm setting up a deform for the movement of my character like that. All right. Now the expression for the left. And I'm going to do the same, but I'm only going to move the waddles, the left waddle, the way I want it. Just like that give or take. All right. So left smirk, right smirk. And that's basically it. You get the idea. Let me close this up and I'm going to go back into the backstage. I'm going to return out of my composer mode. All right. Select my character. Yes. Uh, my plugin for motion 2d live. Thank you very much. Right there. Okay. So let's try to test this out going to select my character face 3d we're good and preview set spacebar and zero pose okay so left okay you see hold up do this again spacebar i'm sorry okay so if i smirk left you can see those waddles moving. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I can bring up the global. There we go. That's a bit better. Let me even zoom in a bit. Stop this. Let me zoom in a bit so we can see it better. Okay. So if I smirk left or right, you'll see those waddles moving. All right. So now you know how to adjust the deform of your sprites. All right, so the last part of this tutorial, this advanced tutorial, is how to customize your mouth trigger sprite. So, for example, if I click on preview, if I do this mocap here, set zero pose again, okay. If I open my mouth, you'll see that my beak is not opening properly. The reason is because the value that is being set for that range is calling up a one sprite which is for the smirk but i want it to call up the sprite for the open mouth so let me show you visually what this looks like if i go into the sprite editor here on the left okay let me open this part here i'm going to click on face and i'm going to go to mouth just to show you the the sprites that we have available so this is the normal sprite um and if i open my mouth right now it's basically calling up the sprite for smile open like that. But that's not the one I want it to call. I want it to call the mouth open, the real mouth open like that. All right. And I want, I can actually um, map, I can custom map the trigger for my mouth sprite to do this. So let me show you. It's actually very easy. Um, so first of all, this is just an example. Let me go back to the normal here. 
Um, and then we are going to open my motion live panel again. Okay, make sure everything is connected. Yes, 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 we're connected. All right, so if I preview again, okay, the mouth is not doing that. So we're gonna go to mapping again, expression mapping panel. And I'm just like we used uh, the open eye, this time I'm gonna go into jaw open, okay? And I'm gonna go to face. So we have two, two sprites that are being called up. The one for lip smirk, which is the one, the first one right beside the normal one that had just like a little smirky one. And then we have the mouth open, which is the sprite that I really want. So the easy way to do this is that I'm gonna decrease the value for the lip smirk. Let me bring this down to zero. Again, when I open my mouth, I want, the, I want that trigger to call in the mouth sprite for full open. I don't want that smirk one. And I'm gonna leave uh, mouth open for at 100. Um, and that's the one I want to use. So it's as simple as that. We just mapped it already. So if I go to preview and spacebar, let me set zero pose, and I open my mouth, ah, you see, I just mapped that uh, sprite and the sprite value for that specific uh, facial sprite. All right, so that's it for this advanced tutorial for Cartoon Animator 4. We hope this helps you a lot because it'll help you make your animations more professional looking and more customizable. All right, thank you again and uh, stick around for new tutorials. Bye.